Hello everyone and welcome back to another Get Ready With Me. Dun, 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 dun. I always feel like there should be like a intro music or something after I say that. <laughs> priming. I'm gonna do my regular priming Makeup Forever mattifying primer. I have felt as though this is going to run out for like two months and it keeps on trucking. It, it's almost done though. This little 15 mil tube has lasted me a really long time. I'm just gonna put this in my T-zone. I'm going to use the Vichy Mineral 89 Skin Fortifying Daily Booster for some moisture, hydration. And then I'm gonna use the L'Oreal True Match Lumi Glotion in the shade 901 Fair Glow. And put this all over my face. Now I have to wear this makeup for a really long time today because my girlfriend and I are going out for dinner later. So I'm gonna use the Maybelline Super Stay Foundation, which is, I haven't used in a while and the top is clogged. Oh my god, okay. I'll figure this out at a later time. That's not now. And I have to work in like sections of my face for this. This is also quite light. It'll probably match my neck, but it will look pale. And I also feel like using a sponge is the best way. Typically, I don't use sponges for foundation. But this, I feel like sponge is the way to go. Just because it's so thick. <laughs> yeah, it's really pale. But like, matches my neck. But my face is like, has more redness and stuff, so. I know a lot of people really dislike this foundation, but I actually don't mind it. I feel like if I use it with a sponge and use like a relatively small amount of product, it doesn't look super bad. Obviously, it's very full coverage, but I don't feel like it looks overly heavy, um, and it's so long-wearing. It's legit mask-proof, which is why I really actually enjoy this on particular occasions. I'm going to do my brows now, so I'm just going to get some soap on my spoolie and just brush this through my brows. Um, now I'm just going to prime my eyes while my brows set using the NARS Smudge Proof Eyeshadow Base. And I'm going to put some concealer right in the inner corners of my eyes. Now I'm going to fill my brows in using the NYX Lift and Snatch Brow Tint Pen. I use the shade Auburn. I'm just going to fill in my brows, my unruly, unplucked brows. On my lips, just for like moisturization purposes, I'm gonna take this old sample of the Clarins Instant Light Lip Comfort Oil and just put this on my lips. I'm just trying to use it up. Get it out of here. Okay, now I have a very exciting, kind of, yes, exciting palette to use. The ColourPop Lush Life Palette. I bought this in December, I believe. Yes. Um, they. I randomly went on the ColourPop website. This was on deep discount, like five dollars. I got this for five dollars, and I didn't say no. Could I have said no? Absolutely. Did I say no? No. Let's give it a swatch because I haven't like formally swatched it yet. And just between friends, okay? I'm going to try to do this quickly. The first shade is this light yellow matte called Eco. Then we have this shimmer called Wildlife. It's not super intense. It's more of like a yellow, like a light yellow shimmer. The shade It's Paradise, which actually looks super beautiful. Please excuse my crusty, crusty hands. It's like a yellow, 
it's like a gold shimmer with like a yellow or no green undertone to it the shade guava is a yeah on my skin is super dry so shadow doesn't want to stick to it it's like an orangey terracotta shade the shade hotness is a like orange metallic like orange red metallic The shade Palm Palm, like Palm Tree, is a bright metallic green. The shade Juicy is a... dark metallic green. The shade Hideaway is a... copper. This is a little bit more like metallic and intense. The shade Noni is another terracotta matte shade that's a little bit darker than Guava. The shade On the Prowl is a dark, darker matte green, not super, super dark. Has a brightness to it. The shade Monsoon is a blue that I would have liked to be a little bit darker. And then the shade Eden is a pretty like neutral matte brown. Okay, and this is the Lush Life palette swatched out. So a good mix of like neutrals with blues and greens I'd say. A lot of these metallics are a little bit more subtle. They're not super super intense. I haven't used Colourpop in forever. Probably two years. So let's zoom in and do an eye look together. Mm, I think I'm gonna Start with the shade Eco, that yellow, and use this as a like my first blending transition shade. Now I haven't used ColourPop. I have been taking a break for them for like probably the past two years or so. More than anything, just because well, not just because because they I really and I'm not the first or only person to think this or agree with this, but they really were not coming out. Like, all of, most of their eyeshadow palettes were super, super light and super ashy, and they weren't really coming out with bronzer or blush shades that were inclusive. Also super light, so I was like, you know what? Nah, I'm taking a break from the brand. And honestly, I was fine. Like, they didn't really, a lot that they released didn't really interest me anyway. However, I do feel like, and I always hesitate to say this because ultimately it's not up to me to decide whether or not, like, like, it, I was never the person that was being impacted in the first place, right? As a white person, as, as, especially as someone who has such fair skin, but... I do feel like they have made somewhat of an effort, made an effort to be more inclusive. Obviously, they have their issues, what brand doesn't, um, but I feel like I might stop completely, like, banning them, um, because I do feel like they've improved. I don't know, and honestly, being totally frank, a lot of the brands that I do buy from that are easily accessible to me, like at the drugstore and stuff, like, I was gonna list them off, but like legit any drugstore brand, or like most drugstore brands, don't have inclusive, maybe they have inclusive like complexion based products. Couldn't find an inclusive fucking bronzer or blush range. 
especially bronzer so like why am I trying to sit here and like ban ColourPop when they're actually doing better than a lot of the brands that I'm currently buying from anyway is kind of my thought process. I need a brush. I would love to know anyone anyone's opinions on ColourPop in that sense because <clears throat> That's kind of just what I've been thinking and what I thought when I ended up making an order from them. Now I'm going to take on the Prowl, which is this green. <clears throat> so yeah, not that I'm going to like go out here and like buy a ton of ColourPop, but just in the sense of like maybe if they release something I'm interested in or whatever, you know, maybe I'll buy it. Um, also, I think that there's a lot, like, I, they are an affordable brand that is, that makes them more accessible to a lot of people, and they're releasing a lot of products that are, like, trendy and exciting, and a lot of indie brands, a lot of mainstream brands just, like, aren't affordable and aren't financially accessible. God knows fucking makeup. It's such a financial privilege to be able to even like spend excess money on makeup in the first place. So maybe ColourPop is also a brand that like is good to buy from. I don't know, like a good option to have as well. And God knows I already spend enough of my money on makeup that it might be nice to add another affordable option into my arsenal and one that actually has more inclusive products than a lot of the brands that I already buy from that are affordable anyway which is kind of like where my thought process is is going anyway that's my thoughts also these shadows are performing quite well I will say um what else was I gonna say Oh yeah, I know a lot of people don't, like obviously their releases are ridiculous, like fucking ridiculous how much they release, but like honestly, it's kind of, my opinion on that is kind of just like, it's kind of the like capitalist climate market world that we live in. Obviously it's working for them because they keep doing it like legit if it didn't make financial sense they wouldn't do it just the way like running a business goes I guess and you know what there's tons of brands that release a lot of stuff I don't know it's just like that's not for me something like does it bother me yeah for sure but it's like I don't know. It's, I just won't buy every single ColourPop release that comes out, you know, or frankly most. But I feel like they have been doing things that are a little bit more exciting, have been maybe making more of an effort, and I would at least rather buy products from ranges that have legit a better range, like I said, than a lot of more affordable brands. So those are my thoughts and feelings and opinions. And I would love to know yours. And obviously they they do shady things as well. Like sometimes you see on Twitter or whatever, like I know Donnie Darkowitz said that like ColourPop offered her like $600 or whatever to like do a paid campaign. But I feel like Maybe I'm just being cynical, but I feel like so many brands do that, like, spelling, spelling the T here, Merit, like the brand Merit. By the way, I'm going to take the shade Monsoon and see how dark I can make it, which is this matte blue here. Um, it has, like, lip oils and stuff like that, and, like, those tiny little, like, cream blushes. I at first thought it was a scam, but it was, like, their legit email and, like, it was, I'm almost positive was legit. Like they asked, they sent me an email and this was before I even reached a thousand subscribers. I had like maybe like 800 
and they wanted like they were like we'll send you six free products and sent like this whole like powerpoint presentation of like the video that they wanted to make me to make and like not me specifically you know just like sending it out to people but like the content they wanted you to make and the like, talking points they wanted you to have like basically I don't know if this is going to come as a surprise to you or not. I've not done sponsored content anywhere before. Like I'm teeny tiny. Like I'm not I'm not getting demands from brands to make work for them, which is like fine whatever. I, you know, it's not why I'm doing this. <laughs> frankly, but I was like this looks like what I imagined would look like for like a sponsored job. And you're offering to send me six free products to try and it was like I could see how it would be like super super tempting and honestly it was like should I just get them to send me a free product but then I was like no like you have to pay people <laughs> if you want them to like do work for you um, and and then I see like people use mer I mean I'm not like canceling them like I said I'm sure that brands do this all the time that we just like don't know about um but i was just like honestly i'd love to work with you but you gotta pay people especially like sending it to like such a tiny small person it's like so be so easy to like say yes to that <sighs> could it have been a scam maybe but i did like look into it and it seemed legit so not to excuse ColourPop for doing that, for sure, for sure, for sure. Don't get me wrong. Okay, so I just cut my crease, my camera cut off, so I just figured I'd do this. I'm gonna take the shade on the prowl, and just run this over the edge lightly. And then tap this onto my lid a little bit. And guys, these mattes kind of slap. <laughs> like, I'm not gonna lie. And then I'm going to take Monsoon, right? Yeah. And deepen my outer corner. And run this very gently over the edge of my cut crease. I do wish this blue was slightly deeper, though. I'm not going to lie. But when is that ever not my complaint about a palette? Now I'm just going to take some NYX Glitter Primer and put this on my lid where I cut my crease. And then I'm going to take the shade Pom Pom in the center of my lid and the shade It's Paradise in the front. Ooh, that's actually super bright. The thing about the shimmers is like, they don't feel like as amazing. They're just regular shimmers, you know, which isn't necessarily a bad thing. And then taking its paradise. Hmm, those actually look really quite nice. I'm just gonna do the same thing on the other eye. I'm gonna take a little bit more of On the Prowl and blend this into the shade Pom Pom. I'm gonna take Eco, which was that like orange, not orange, yellow that I took initially and run this over the edge of my shadow to help blend it out, even though my hairs of my the hairs of my eyebrows are in the way. And then I'm gonna take Pom Pom and it's paradise on my fingers and intensify these shades on my lid. Look at that green. Okay, let's zoom out a little bit and do my face. So, and a purchase that I made this month because I ran out of the CoverGirl concealer that I was using. I bought the Kosas, what is this official? Revealer Super Creamy and Brightening Concealer. For reference, I bought it in the shade 0.5N because everyone talks about this. And I just wanted to know what it was like. I am pleasantly surprised. I wasn't sure how it was going to work on oily skin. And it definitely is quite dewy. But 
it actually has a surprising amount of coverage and I feel like it lasts pretty well for being like a dewier concealer and I totally get why everyone or why people who have dry skin or normal skin love this because it has a good amount of coverage and it's it has a really beautiful finish and it lasts really well it's not like super super long wearing it does you know like show through a little bit of oil but it's quite nice I don't know that I would necessarily run out and buy it again, but I am en enjoying using it. I'm gonna use my NARS um, <laughs> Soft Matte Complete Concealer just to conceal this one red blemish here, or maybe this too. But otherwise, between the foundation and the concealer, I don't really think I need to put this anywhere else. I'm going to contour using the KVD Liquid Gel Contour in the shade Fair Cool. Oh, fuck, I wasn't going to do that. And blending cream products out on top of the Kosas Concealer. Magical. Magical. And now I'm going to use the Danessa Myricks uh, Power Bronzer, Cream Bronzer. Every time I think that I'm almost done this, it just keeps on going. Which I mean, I'm not mad about. I do love it. Now I'm going to take the Sephora Radiant Luminizing Drops. These are just... It's just a liquid highlighter that might almost be done. Because I can't get any more product out of this stupid little bottle. Anyway... Or I set it out of the dropper. I'm just going to put this on my cheekbones. Blend it out with my sponge. Now I'm going to powder. This is the Maybelline Fit Me Loose Powder. I'm just going to put this in all the usual places that I put powder. Then I'm going to take the, my Hourglass Ambient Lighting Powder and brush this away. Has anyone actually panned an Hourglass, like, powder? I would love to know, because the journey is long. <laughs> Setting the rest of my face using my Rimmel Stay Matte. And going back in with my Hourglass Powder. Okay, lower lash line. I'm going to take on the Prowl, which is that green, and run this all underneath my eye. And then I'm taking Monsoon and running that underneath my lash line as well. And then take the shade Eco and blend it out. And I was looking to see if I had a ColourPop Black. I think the closest is the shade The Capricorn from the Kathleen Lights. Um, Zodiac, the Zodiac palette. Honestly, let's just use it. Why not? I'm just going to put this, excuse me, in my outer corner. For inner corners, I'm going to use Light Year from Terra Moons. I'm also going to put a little bit of that on my brow bone. Oops. Or a lot. All right, bronzer time using the Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer. I feel like by the end of March, I'll be done this. Spray my face using the e.l.f. Dewy Coconut Setting Mist. For highlight and blush, I'm going to use the NARS Exposed Cheek Palette. I'm going to take this highlight first. This is in the shade Tell All, I believe. And then I'm going to mix these two blushes up here. I think their shade, their shade names are Now or Never and to Give It Away. But yeah, I'm just going to mix these and use these as blush. This was my go-to blush in the summertime, 
it gives like a very like sunburnt look. I love it. And the formula of these is so nice. And then my last two steps, I'm going to take the Maybelline Brow Fast Sculpt Gel Mascara. And run this through my brows. And then take Freck and do some freckles. Okay, so that is where I'm going to leave it. I am going to finish up everything up, put, do my hair, and then be back to show the final look. Alright, and this is the finished look. I'm trying to do a short and sweet outro today. So on my lips I have the NYX Lip Liner in Nude Truffle and the Fenty Beauty Gloss Balm Heat in the shade Fenty Glow Heat. Fenty Glow Heat. Um, and my lashes are Bold Face Makeup Lashes and Now or Never. What a fun time it was using this palette and chatting about ColourPop and what I think of them, especially considering I paid $5 for this. I feel like well worth $5 for this palette. I really like how, I really like the color story. I like how it is a true like half colorful, half warm neutral palette. The shimmers are not like blowing me away, but they're still like pretty good shimmers and not everyone wants super glitzy, sparkly, like super PC, you know, intense shimmers all the time. Packaging, look at this packaging. I feel like it kind of matches my look today. It actually is really, really stunning. And um, the mattes, like I said before, they kind of slap. Like they blended beautifully, they built beautifully, no patchiness, no issues. So I was very pleasantly surprised. I do wish that this blue was deeper but I do think that I was able to build it on top of the green and get a good amount of depth from it. Um, still wish that it was deeper, but that's just, you know, me being annoying. Thank you for watching another Get Ready With Me. Always love doing them. Always love having you here. Let me know your thoughts on ColourPop or anything that I talked about today in the comments. I always love talking to you guys in the comments. Again, thank you so much for watching this video, and I'd love to see you in the next one. Bye!